Yeah, usually it's a, a pretty routine repair, but every once in a while we get one repair that kind of uh, stops us in our track. So we had this customer in Natick, Massachusetts, and they had a very traditional eighth inch crack, eighth inch wide crack, uh, settling crack that was uh, needed to be repaired. The customer was looking to get it repaired. You know, said he had never had water, but you know was worried about it, wanted to get it repaired. And I said, yeah, this is something easy, something that we could do a couple different ways. In this particular process, we were looking at doing an injection process where we drill into the foundation at an angle, insert some mechanical ports, hook up a high pressure pump, and then pump in a closed cell polymer resin material. And that'll fill that crack from the inside to the outside, top to bottom, essentially gluing the foundation back together and waterproofing it from the inside out. Now we do get this question a lot of, hey, I have a foundation wall crack. Should I worry about it? I've never seen water in it. And for the most part, water is the highest priority to make sure it's repaired, but there's always other reasons why you'd want to repair a wall crack, but usually the most pressing need is that if it's leaking, and that's the kind of knee-jerk reaction when you have water in your basement, you want to stop that from coming in. So a lot of times we talk about preventative repairs and, and why you do them. And one of the, the things on the preventative repairs that we see that kind of goes you know, a little bit further down the list it is insect uh, in, infiltration. So um, in this particular crack in Natick, uh, Massachusetts, we we're set up, we're drilling into the foundation, no issues, started pumping in the material and a whole colony of ants, carpenter ants actually started pouring out of the foundation crack. So the technician who was on site that day uh, stopped immediately, you know, backed away from the crack because he didn't know what was happening. It's very, it uh, doesn't happen very often where that happens. Sometimes you get a little millipede or centipede coming out of there or, you know, silverfish, uh, but usually never, you know, a whole colony of ants. So within this crack and on the other side of the wall, six feet down from the soil, there was an entire colony of ants and they used that foundation crack as their home. And obviously, you know, nobody wants ants in their house and nobody wants to have insects infiltrating in their house. So just goes to show you that some of these foundation cracks, which kind of look like a normal foundation crack, never have water, should I even worry about it? Do I even need to care about it? Well, the answer is yeah, you do, because these are areas where water, or not only water can come in, but also insects. In fact, termites need only a 16th of an inch to allow to come in from the outside. And what they do is they send out, um, they send out scouts essentially, and they kind of find wherever the location is, and they scent mark the location on how to get inside to uh, find good uh, wood in the, in the home to start eating. And then that's the rest when the rest of the ants come in. So even a 16th inch crack or an eighth inch crack that's in your foundations, never had water, is an open door for insects coming in. So in this case, we were able to call the exterminator, have them take care of the issue. And then we came back and uh, re-injected it and took care of it full warranty. And then the, uh, the pest control company uh, had said, yeah, this is something that we've seen a couple of times. So it's not a one-off, it definitely happens, but it's a good reminder that, that it's not just about foundation cracks with water, it's also about foundation cracks to prevent things like ants and insects from coming in your home.